while Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra was the first smartphone to have a display that wrapped around the side edges of the phone. Well technically the Galaxy Note edited that a year before, but it was manufactured in limited quantities, and the screen only wrapped around the right ad even Samsung doesn't outright acknowledge the Note Edge has, having a curved display whichever Galaxy Mall you consider to be the first in this category. The fact remains that Samsung has been pushing the curved display's design for roughly half a decade officially score just to look and technically a pretty big achievement sensing up and took advantage of the design, but some genuinely handy software features, but this year it's something else. Galaxy S20 variants having curves for small displays practically flat. Personally I love curved displays, and I was kind of worried that Samsung may be abandoning the curved display design philosophy on their flagships, but turns out their not icy neighbors had spilled some beans on Twitter about the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra where he mentioned that the radius of curvature of the Note 20 Ultra's display is unlike the Galaxy S20, but rather is like the Galaxy Note that also includes the curved edges the Templars looks premium, primarily because of the steep curves also, because it doesn't have this abomination at the back, is pretty great news that they're abandoning the display curves on the Note 20 Ultra. Also according to IC neighbor Samsung will tone down the pestles even more Note 20 Ultra will include 0.29mm reduction in bezels on the sides 0.4mm center top and bottom bezels and 1mm thinner diameter hole punch out not only that, the Note 20 Ultra is going to be one of the finished devices out there currently with the thickness of 7.6mm 0.3mm thinner than the Note Templars and a massive 1.2mm thinner than the S20 Ultra so considering all of this, you can be sure that the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra will be one of the best looking devices that Samsung has launched in recent times has been plenty of chatter about the Galaxy Note 20 with the suggestion that is going to be essentially the Galaxy is Ultra, but with the inclusion of the Aspen, but recently we have discovered that is not true. Note 20 Ultra will offer some substantial upgrades and today's information gives more credence to what according to IC neighbors. The gown of the highlights of the Note 20 Ultra would be the Snapdragon 865 Plus in 2019. Qualcomm did have different version of its core hardware with the Snapdragon 855 and 855 Plus the latter, a minor tweak on the platform for slightly better performance was introduced in the middle of the year, a sort of progression of the platform, and it seems the same is happening this year as well. Interestingly Mizo CMO recently, don't we Paul saying that there won't be a Snapdragon 865 Plus this year, but clearly that's not true. According to the most renowned Samsung tipster according to early benchmarking X65 Plus will be the first chipset to cross the 3GHC speed barrier, making it the most powerful mobile chipset out there. By the way, the Note 20 will also have a new upgraded externals processor manufactured on 6nm notes. This chipset will offer about 1.3% better performance than the 7nm Snapdragon 865 no information just yet on how to perform against the 65 plus anyway the Note 20 Ultra specs also include an LGPL display which will as you can do on the S20 Ultra also be new camera functions followed by new Aspen features, but IC neighbors didn't specify any of in any case, Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is one of its new Note phones on August 5th, that is, if the mounting rumors are right. Whispers about an extra-large version of the Note 20, called the Note 20 Ultra, have floated up and been batted down at intervals. Now one prominent Twitter leaker makes a compelling case that the Ultra is real, with a series of specs. As always, nothing's a given until Samsung's official announcement. If true, Samsung would introduce the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, alongside other Note 20 variants, as well as the rumored Galaxy Fold 2 and a 5G version of the Galaxy Z Flip. The Galaxy Note 20 phones are rumored to go on sale August 20, 2020. Samsung loves a good pattern. It's a complicated time for a phone launch. Coronavirus cases are growing in the US and around the world, with a spike of new cases continuing to rise in Samsung's home base of South Korea, according the Associated Press reported. Meanwhile, Black Lives Matter protesters around the world have rallied to demonstrate against racism and police brutality. And the world economy is in the most severe recession in nearly a cent. In this uncertain climate, speculation nevertheless suggests that Samsung will go through with an unveiling, though the company declined to comment on the rumor. What's less certain is how the Galaxy Note 20 will be received, both as a device and as a higher-priced phone in these rocky times. The Note line is well established as Samsung's brand for power users, but the reality of the situation is that phone sales are in decline as a result of COVID-19, while the severity of the global recession continued to climb. Read on for the top Galaxy Note 20. Samsung Galaxy Note phones are among the most popular and powerful Android devices. Every year we are in the 10th generation with the Galaxy Note 22 member Samsung's give the Galaxy Note 6 and went straight from the Note 5 to the Note 7 East device has come with a variant of the Aspen and included style as the software. The operating system supports this as no ordinary styluses. Many function aim to boost productivity. 
The stylus has a cult following on Android and a ton of people that use them, but the ones that do love it. Of course it was being said that Samsung has a lot of new features in store for this needle stylus for the Galaxy Note 20, but we didn't know exactly what those new features are going to be up until now. Very Samsung tipster Ice Universe tweeted this a couple of days ago, almost everyone who saw the tweet was like what man won't let me explain what that exactly means to see when we draw or write stuff with the Aspen, a lot of calculations take place behind the scenes phone captures the location data, and the Aspen records the pressure and tilt levels. This date I sent to the processors and the processors orders. The drawing application to basically you can call this latency. In simple terms, latency is the delay before a transfer of data begins following an instruction for its transfer 39 milliseconds ICE Universe is talking about is the latency of the Aspen on the Galaxy Note 20 basically a response time, even though Samsung is the one who popularized the concept of the stylus on phones and tablets, but it's Apple who right now has the best response time for a stylus at 9 milliseconds. The side-by-side -side comparison between the Apple Pencil and he has been in slow motion, can see that the Aspen has a slight delay between the stylus and the line appearing on the screen. The Apple Pencil on the other hand, has almost no delay due to its super-fast 9 milliseconds response time, and a fast 120Hz display with fresh red information on the internet about the latest of Galaxy Note 10s, and spent 25 to guess it's about 16 milliseconds. So with the latency of 9 milliseconds Samsung will match the Apple Pencil in response time and couple with 120Hz refresh rate. This is going to make a noticeable difference for the Aspen users. By the way the 9 millis smartphones and computers become more advanced the latency time can produce even further to 1 millisecond. When that happens, the stylus latency will be purely instant like a real pencil where writing and drawing with the scholars feels as natural as using an actual pencil. Though this seems impossible that Microsoft has showcased a demo already how he won the second input would look like course we're not quite at those levels, and it would take a few years to reach there, but the Aspen on the Galaxy Note 20 is getting the stylus much closer to that magical 1 millisecond territory, 20 and the 20 Ultra will have different camera setups, and therefore the size of the camera module will be different as well. And here we have some pictures of cases of the Note 20 and the 20 Ultra that showcases the difference between the sizes of these camera modules. Note 20 Ultra has a similar camera layout as the S20 Ultra why the Note 20 camera module is comparable to the Galaxy S20 Plus in any case, both of these are accused by all means, but the layout is less ugly on the Note 20 Ultra compared to the S20 Ultra, primarily due to the boxer design of the Galaxy 20 anyway. For all the late comment, thanks for watching see you on my next video one peace out.